If you've noticed a black ring forming around your toilet bowl, and no matter how often you clean it, it just keeps coming back, don't ignore it. It may sound bizarre, but mold that grows in toilet bowls may actually thrive off the sugar in the urine of people living with uncontrolled high blood sugar levels or type 2 diabetes. And while that sounds wild, this connection between urine and diabetes isn't new. In fact, as far back as 1500 BC, Egyptian and Indian texts described this condition. But it wasn't until 17th century Europe that doctors quite literally tasted urine to check for sweetness. That's how the name diabetes mellitus was born. Diabetes meaning to pass through and mellitus meaning honey sweet. Fast forward to today, when your blood sugar rises above 180 or 200 milligrams per deciliter, your kidneys start spilling excess sugar into the urine. This is a condition known as glycosuria. And just like sugar feeds yeast in bread, it also feeds mold. So if you're consistently urinating sugar, and especially urinating very frequently, that toilet bowl becomes the perfect breeding ground. This doesn't mean that toilet mold proves that you have diabetes. Mold can grow for lots of reasons, poor ventilation, infrequent flushing, and hard water. But if you're noticing mold build up quickly after cleaning, and it's paired with other strange signs that I'll talk about, then it could be a warning sign. Now, I know that this sounds crazy, but it isn't just theory. When I posted about this on TikTok, hundreds of people commented that this happened to their toilet bowls. And they later found out that they had full-blown type 2 diabetes or at least very high blood sugar levels. People were saying, my husband has diabetes and prior to moving in with him, I never had black mold around the lip of the toilet every single week when I clean it. I always thought it was because we moved to a different town with different water, but this is wild. Yes, I remember this happening when my A1C was above 14. Yes, true, my mom had diabetes and my toilet always got a ring of mold in the bowl. The fact that this shows up in so many bathrooms around the country should make you stop and think. But that is just one of several strange but real signs of high blood sugar and insulin resistance that most people miss. So here's a few more to watch out for. Number one, dark patches around your neck area, groin, and armpits. This is called acanthosis nigricans, and it's one of the most visible signs of insulin resistance. These patches look like dirt, but they don't rub off. They are caused by high levels of insulin, stimulating skin cells in a way that leads to darkening and thickening, especially in folds like the neck area, groin, and armpits. Number two, skin tags, especially around the neck area and chest. Not everyone realizes this, but skin tags, those fleshy growths are more common in people living with insulin resistance. Studies have found that those with lots of skin tags are more likely to have elevated insulin levels. Number three, fatigue after meals. If you crash hard after eating, that could be a sign that your blood sugar is swinging. Normally, insulin helps shuttle glucose into your cells in order to be used as energy. But when insulin resistance is present, that process doesn't work well, leaving excess sugar in the bloodstream and your cells starving for fuel. The result, you feel drained, groggy, and ready for a nap, even after you just ate. Number four, belly fat that just won't budge. Chronically elevated insulin levels, not just short spikes after meals, can turn your body into a fat storing machine, especially around the midsection. That's because insulin is also a storage hormone. When it stays high for too long, which happens when you have insulin resistance, your body is constantly being told to store energy as fat and hold onto it. And research shows that this fat tends to build up viscerally, which means deep inside the belly around your organs, which is the most dangerous kind of fat. The frustrating part is that even if you're eating less, that stubborn belly fat may not budge until you improve insulin sensitivity. Number five, tingling and numbness in your hands and feet. High blood sugar over time can start to damage small nerve endings, especially in your extremities. If you're feeling tingling, numbness, 
or a burning sensation, especially at night, it may be an early sign of diabetic neuropathy. Number six, constant thirst and frequent urination. This one is one of the most classic signs. When there's too much sugar in your blood, your kidneys work in overtime in order to filter it out, which leads to more urination and dehydration. That's why you may feel thirsty all the time, even if you're drinking lots of water. So what should you do if you're seeing some of these signs? Don't panic, but do act. First, get your fasting blood sugar and your A1C checked. If the numbers are high, the good news is that insulin resistance, the underlying cause of high blood sugar levels, can be reversed. Check out the links in the description below this video. I'll go ahead and leave a free insulin resistance checklist with 10 habits that you can start doing right now to reverse insulin resistance. I'll also leave a link for a meal plan that will help you reverse insulin resistance and the exact supplements and workouts that I recommend to restore insulin sensitivity. Go ahead and find everything below this video. If this video helped you, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let me know in the comments below if you have experienced any of these signs, or if you've got any questions, I'm happy to help. Let's go ahead and take your power back. See you in the next video. Take care.